So I'm going to show you all my FPV power 50 amp PWM that I got for my trolling motor. Now I'm not going to lie, and it took me a, a lot to convince myself to buy this. It's pricey. It's $200. Now, I know everyone, I've researched and researched the PWMs. Everyone said, build your own. You can do it a lot cheaper, under $50. But I tell you right now, I'm a DIY guy, but I am not a DIY electrical guy. I don't know hardly anything about electronics when it comes to wiring. Now, I can program a depth finder like there's no one's business, but as far as wiring things up, it's, it's not me, not me at all. So I went ahead and spent the money on this just for peace of mind. So I have a 30 pound Endura Minn Kota trolling motor that I chopped down. I chopped the head of it off, wired it. These come with the quick disconnect plugs. I'm not sure how good y'all can see that in the, if it's too shady or not. You have four wires coming off of this. It's super easy, two to your motor and two to your battery. Uh, you have four wires coming out of your trolling motor and you only need the positive and the negative coming out, the red and white or the red and black coming off of it. That's all you need. I think there's a yellow one and there's one more color and you don't need those. Uh, what I did was mounted it on a piece of cutting board that I trimmed, trimmed to, uh, trimmed to size, put Velcro on it to put Velcro on a depth finder mount and I have that on my track. One good thing about it, this does have a kill switch. It's magnetic. And of course I got that strapped to my, to my uh, life jacket. What the good thing about this is, it's variable speed. So it's not like your regular trolling motor we got five, four, two reverse. It's, it's variable speed and I can go as fast as slow as I want with it. And that's especially gonna be helpful when I'm drifting uh, for catfish in the winter time and it's a dead calm day. I'll be able to set this to barely, you know, cruise at 0 .3, 0 0.4 miles an hour while I'm pulling uh, planter boards behind me. So that's, that's the main reason I got it. Another reason, heck, I'm just cruising at three miles an hour in a in a headwind in this big old native titan and i'm not even on the pedals so i i can't complain about that too much like i said it was 200 dollars as a big chunk of change but in my in my opinion it's well worth it well worth it i got it from mariner sales i actually drove down to dallas which is about two hours away from me because i just want to go and check out their storeroom which was well worth the drive but you can find these on marinersales.com they're out of dallas uh great customer service these are warranted i don't know what the warranty is off the top of my head i'll have to look but again great great addition to the kayak and as you can see back there the trolling motor anyways if y'all are in the market for something like this, like I said, I know it's pricey at 200, but give it a look. A little peace of mind that comes with it.